Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to format SharePoint Modern List Calendar View. So stay tuned and let's go to the demo after this short intro. I'm inside SharePoint site. The site is a leave planner site and I have a list called leave request. So all the employees can request a leave for one or more days. So we have a title of the leave, the start and end date and the status. And there's a default column which is created by the person name. Now I want to display the leave request in a calendar view. So all the employees can see that when their colleagues are away and the manager have visibility on all the employees leave requests as well. So for that, I will go to all items and click on create new view. Okay, so we can create different types of view. I will select calendar view and then I will give this view a name. I will just call it leaves calendar and the start date is going to be the start date of the leave and the end date is going to be the end date of the leave. So calendar will need the start and end date to map the leave request on the calendar. So if I click on more options, what the title of that leave request should show in the calendar title or I can display created by which means the person who created the leave request is the person who is actually requesting the leave and we can make this as a public view. So I can click on create. Now you can see we have a leave calendar view and I can see there are three different leave requests submitted. If I go back to the all item view here I can see the status is different for each leave request. For example you have an approval workflow when a leave get created it sits as a draft unless someone approves it or someone rejects it. So we can see that there are different statuses of the leave request. But if I go back to calendar view leaves calendar I can see three different requests but I cannot differentiate which one is approved and which one is draft or rejected leave request. For that I need to form at this calendar view. So I will click on the leave calendar drop down and then format current view. So we're going to format based on the status column. So I will click on manage rules and then I will click on add rule if choose a column. Now you can see the status column is not appearing here. Only the start date and date and created by which we use as a title column are appearing here because only these three columns are in the scope of this view. Okay, so to formatting on any other column, which is not part of the calendar view, we need to first add that column into the calendar view. So if I just click on cancel. Now if I go here, leave calendar and click on edit current view, you will see it only show us these three columns. So we can only map these three columns for the calendar. So we cannot add a status column in this view here. Instead, what we can do is let me cancel that. We can go to the settings and go to list settings. And if I scroll down, we can see all the views appearing here. And one of them is leaves calendar view. This is the view which we're using for the calendar. So if I click on that view, this is the old SharePoint user interface where you can create list views. So here, what we need to do is we need to check the status column or any column which you want to do the formatting based on that column needs to be added into that view. So I will check that and I will click on OK. All right. So if I go back to the leave calendars view drop down and click on format current view and click on manage rules, if I click on add rule and if I say if column now status column is appearing here, if status column is equal to draft, then show this color. So this is the color for the draft. So I will keep it that one and I will click on save. Now you can see this one was a draft entry and it's changed the color but these two are gray color because we haven't added any rule yet. Now if I go back add another rule if status is equal to approved then we showing the green one and you can see that it's been changed there. Okay and if I go back you can see there's another one which is default created show all values as gray if none of the rules matches. But I need to match the rule for the rejected one so I will add another rule and I will say if status is equal to to reject it then I want to display for example this red one. So I'll click on save. Now you can see that all the leave requests are appearing color coded based on their status value. This is an easy way to show all the employees leave requests in a calendar view so the manager have visibility of the resource available on a specific day. If there are multiple resources off on the same day you will be able to see that information in the right hand pan when you select that day. So this person is away if there are more people away on that
that day, you will be able to see all the entries there. One other thing you might want to do is you don't want to show the rejected one because those holidays are already rejected and you don't want to show them in the calendar view. So for that, you can filter the view. Again, you won't be able to filter the view from here. You can only go into the list settings. And if I go to the leave calendar view and I can filter, I can say I want to filter if I check this box and then I will say where the status is not equal to rejected. So only show me the values where the status is not equal to rejected and I will click on OK. And now in the leave request calendar, I'm only seeing the draft and approved holidays. So to just wrap up this video, today we have learned how easily you can format SharePoint list calendar view and how easily you can filter the calendar view. Thank you very much for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as I upload new videos every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have any question regarding this topic or any query related to Office 365, put in the comment section below. I review the comments on a daily basis. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.